morning, everybody. What do you say, Uggs? Oh, I've gone back to bed. Oh, funny. No, he hasn't. I have. Look. What are you doing? Keeping warm. It's a little bit warm over the sun. Keeping... Uh, it is warm. You've got the bloody heating on. Yeah. Lovely view this morning. Got steamed up windows, though. Yes, that's no problem. Yeah. What, are you just wiping them or getting the car thing out? I might get the car on. It's easier. Oh, you do look sad. I am. Yeah. Say morning, lucky monst. Hello, buddy boy. Why are you licking your lips? Oh, you ain't going to puke. Right, so, car flew the drone last night. Yep. Which the footage will be on in a minute, after this yapping. Yeah, and you got annoyed, don't you, Carl? No, I don't. Yeah, Carl got annoyed because he started flying the drone. Yes. See? What happened? He was going to get the drone out and one of the neighbours in a camper van, which we won't show her anything because we're not like that, they got their drone out, so Carl waited, yes, didn't you dear? I did. And then, he waited till quite late, didn't you really? It was late, hours after he got his up. Yeah. So, Carl got the drone out. Yep. So I got my drone out, flew my drone out, everything was going fine, and then... As I, as I got the drone above here to get some aerial shots of it, he got his drone out and flew his drone up towards mine. And I thought, what an idiot. You know, you don't fly a drone out when someone else has got a drone out. No. Because one, he's got a DJI same as mine, but his is a Mini. If the interference is on the controls go, both drones are going to be crashed. Um, plus, if I fly around because I can't see his and I, I hit his, it's going to take two, what, both, both drones out. Yeah. Totally idiot. Totally idiot. Yeah, completely bloody stupid. So what I'd done is I flew mine quite a distance away to keep away from his until he, I knew he was landed. Because I couldn't come back. I was running out of battery. I thought I'm not even going to try and land with him here in case he crashes into me. Because he was prattling about with it. Yeah. Idiot. Yeah, very. Right, anyway. We're going for a walk today, aren't we? We are, yes. So, see you a bit later. Bye. Bye. Bye, Nookie. Nookie won't say goodbye. She's chilling. You want to clear anything? Right. As you can see, we are off for a walk to Moundsmead. Three quarters of a mile. Don't know if you can hear the word I said. So, just in case, I'll get closer because of the wind noise. Three quarters of a mile to Malmesmead, which is probably about, I reckon it's about 40 minutes, but it might not be. Might look nice and sunny, but it's a bit chilly, ain't it, Carl? Very yeah, because we decided to stay at um, County Gate Car Park last night. Just so we could have a walk down to Malmesmead today. That's where we parked up.
County Gate, you walk down the big hill, then you go to the river, over the bridge, through a little gate, round the side of the farm, and then you get to the road and you do a right. That's the one campsite. I don't know if it's open. I think that's the one the National Trust have taken over. And then you've got that one there, Doom Valley campsite, which I think is where that caravan is, but there's no bugger here. I looked on the National Trust site and it said things were open from the 1st of April. So, well, we shall see. We'll just show you through Mounds Mead. It's teeny weeny. It's got like the cafe, a shop, a farm, and a gorgeous stone bridge. Right, so this is the Ford. You used to love driving down here, didn't you? Oh, yeah. In the Freelander. I'm going to show you the absolutely gorgeous river. I should have put my bloody wellies on. Again. Yeah, so this is Lorna Dune Country. Obviously named after the book. This is the bridge, which is where you go through the ford. Here I ain't gonna get a motram over here. So it don't look like the shop's open still, which is a complete pain because it used to be really cool, quirky gift shop. I had like a green man plaque from here before, didn't I? Yep. But the cafe is open, so we're gonna get a nice warm drink. Change the name. It's a very nice hand painted sign by the look of that. Yeah, and what's that standing there? A heron. And what's down there? Yeah, a heron. Just want the woodpecker now, don't we? Yeah, lovely sign. Taken over by the National Trust. Look at him, giving his dad a kiss. Why? Because he wants to eat his bloody scum, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> Naughty nucky bear. But yeah. It's a lovely place. It's not a very far walk. There's cheeky looking monster again. And the no, you bad boy. Right. So, they've only been back open a week and it's really, really quiet. It is a nice spot just to have a little walk, a little wander, come and sit by the river. Have a drink and a piece of cake before you carry on. Right, I'm just watching this van who went to go over the bridge. I don't know if you can see. Him. There, look. Reversed. Gonna go through the ford. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Oh. No splashing or nothing, how boring was that? God, we used to love going through there in the Freelander, man, it was ice.
look, he's having a while of a time. He is. He's loving it, loving it, loving it. Chilling by the river. Isn't it lovely? Lovely! <laughs> <laughs> Don't come by me, you nutter. Come over here. Come do it again, look. Go, 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 go. Oh, oh no, oh, oh no. Oh. <laughs> I'm moving. <laughs> You, you in a minute. Oh, this is what he gets like when he's been sniffing wild garlic. <laughs> Come on, then, you nutter. Let's go back. Come on, then, Nook. back you turn at the farm gotta go up the top of that hill lovely eh right and for those of you who haven't got a camper van or a tent or a motor home or a caravan a little cottage there with a phone number on that's me maximum zoom I'm afraid and it's look you can see that Horses for neighbours. Lovely views. Right, we're heading back now over the bridge. Oh, I've got my big stick, walking stick. Bird is singing. Right, so we got to go. Back up this bloody horrible hill now. Absolutely horrid. Which is why I've got my, can't see, my trusty walking stick. I did get up there last time without it, but it's a bloody killer. Right. So I'll see you back at the motor home. Bye. Right, back in the motor home now. After that 
horrible uphill walk and I've done a bit of hand washing hand washing in the bowl with these sheets I bought where are they? Earth Breeze Fresh Scent Laundry Detergent 30 sheets, you cut them in half no plastic waste if we can help it and it Mr Burr yes it is yeah and no electric waste if we can help it been charging my gimbal with that solar thing while it's nice and sunny free power we like it and speaking of free power we are going to try out the Mr D's cook pot in a bit ain't we? we are so Cole can film me making a chilli con carne show you how I make it easy peasy normally do it in a slow cooker but we'll see what it's like so see you in a bit bye bye right we're not doing the um, Mr D's review on today's it will be on the next one um we moved spot didn't we we did so we left County Gate and we've moved down the road to Countersbury and Carl's just flown the drone and hopefully filmed a gorgeous sunset we hope we'll find out in a bit yeah so hopefully that will be on in a bit but just in case it's crap there's a bit of it there 